The northern two-thirds of Maine is larger than New Hampshire, Vermont, and Massachusetts combined. Eastern Maine Medical Center is the only hospital in this region that offers neonatal intensive care and high-risk labor and delivery. To move forward, we need your support. Our newborn intensive care unit uh, services uh, over 400 uh, uh, to 450 critically ill newborns a year and the actual physical layout uh, and physical plant uh, is uh, certainly antiquated. Our twins were born by emergency C-section um, eight weeks early at 32 weeks. The babies were, were healthy, but they, they were premature. So um, they each had their own team and, and were wheeled out by us. It's a scary thing to be in the NICU and, and have monitors that you don't know what they mean necessarily, and they're binging and they're beeping. And it's a room full of that. Um, it's not just your children's bells and whistles, it's everybody's bells and whistles. There was definitely that sense of um, leaving one child behind and bringing one child home. I think it, with a space that you have the ability to stay as a family and bond as a family um, would certainly be something that would be helpful so that you didn't feel like you were leaving one behind. The pregnancy started out very normal. About. Uh, Seven months in, uh, my wife started to get pretty sick, and um, we had to uh, go into the emergency room, and she had to get admitted, and it was all very sudden. And uh, we found out there that we had she Claire was growing a little bit slower than usual. Um, my wife developed uh, preeclampsia, and it got so severe that um, she had to be induced uh, two months early. She weighed two pounds and fourteen ounces, so. It was a small kid and needed a lot of help. In May of 2005, my husband and I found out we were going to have our second child. Found out we were having twins. Things went along fairly smoothly for the first probably nine weeks of the pregnancy, ten weeks of the pregnancy, and then uh, at a family event I got very, very sick. They had said the other baby had to survive to week 25 if Mackenzie was going to have a chance to survive. November 16th at 8.54, she was delivered. They understood that my commute was long each day. I didn't stay in Bangor a lot of nights because my son was five years old. It was important to us that if Mackenzie didn't survive that Jacob had a few memories with her. So uh, looking back, she wasn't just a picture. I think that it, a project like this is, is really valuable to our community because it's, it's the starting point for our families. And you know, strong families make strong communities. And this is, this is where we get the start. This is an investment in the community that brings in the younger group. You know, it, it, it's, it's for the new parents. Um, and so having the kind of support network for, for that demographic, I think um, encourages people to want to live here. You couldn't find a better cause to donate your money to. I said before, how do you thank someone for saving a child's life? and you can thank them by supporting every mission that they try to do. She wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them.